Uh, hello everyone, um, I would like to explain uh, how to use uh, Agilent uh, multimeter uh, for measuring voltage and current in Multisim. Uh, here, uh, as you can see, if you want to measure uh, voltage, uh, either uh, AC or DC, uh, you need to connect uh, the multimeter in parallel. Uh, to the component that you are going to measure its voltage. Uh, for example, here I would like uh, to measure the voltage across R1. Uh, as you can see, I have connected this one uh, across the uh, resistor in order to measure its voltage. And if you wonder which terminal you should use for measuring voltage, uh, look at the right terminal. You see, I mean, uh, on the Agilent uh, multimeter, look on the right, there are three knobs. Here and um, and two on the left. So on this schematic is also the same thing. We have three here and two here, and any of those that you connect, it will be highlighted here. So you make sure that which one you are connecting. As you can see, for these two top right ones, uh, you can measure voltage uh, with a maximum of thousand volts, as it has been shown. Uh, and for these two on the bottom, you can measure uh, current. Okay, so the red one is incoming current and the maximum current should be uh, 3 amps. And it goes out from the negative. So look, when I disconnect, for example, this one, uh, you see it will be like dark. But when I connect it here to measure the voltage across the R1, it will be uh, highlighted. Uh, so we can see which terminals are connected to the circuit. Okay, perfect. For current measurement, multimeter DMM should be in series with the component that you want to measure its current. For example, here I want to measure the current flowing into a resistor R4 there. Um, okay, there I have to disconnect or cut the circuit and then make the current go through the multimeter or ammeter in this case and then come out and then goes to the resistor so the current that flows into R4 should be uh, flowing through the amp meter right so you have to disconnect the circuit and make sure that the current is going through a multimeter and coming out right so look at the top one so it is in parallel right so it is not in series right so for voltage measurement you measure across the component or in parallel with the component. For current measurement, the current should go through the multimeter or you should make it in series with the component to measure voltage. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, to measure current. Okay, now running the simulation, as you can see here, uh, we have to turn on multimeter for the top one for measuring voltage. Uh, for, from this one, you can, if you click, it will show you DC voltage and here, if you click it one more time, uh, it is showing DC, right? But uh, if you want to measure, uh, for example, AC voltage, you have to uh, click on this one, right? So now it's showing the AC voltage because there is uh, the voltage source here is AC. Uh, so if you click on DC, it will measure a very small voltage, like 17 millivolts. But if you click AC voltage, it will measure larger one, which is uh, 60 volts here and it is the RMS value make sure that you know that it is RMS value for current measurement again I have to turn on uh, the Agilent multimeter and uh, in, in you, you see that what terminals are uh, highlighted so it means that it's going to this one and coming out of the black one usually and in order to measure current you see that you have to use this shift key and then click on here so it will measure DC uh, current but if you click shift and AC current uh, so you see that it's showing uh, the AC current so you have to use shift and then click AC V which on the top the shifted version will measure AC current so make sure when you are measuring uh, current it should be in series with your circuit so the same current that goes through the component should go through the multimeter too and when you measure the uh, voltage, it should be in parallel. So make sure that you know which one to use correctly. 
uh, let me know if you have any questions um, thanks